Hello and welcome to RF Pro 5 Minutes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about using 3D models in RF Pro. And I would recommend you to use the latest version of ARIES, whatever is available, specifically 2022 update 2 or any later release. Now, before we start, remember 1, 2, 3, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend next few minutes in going through this interesting topic. And I will show you a couple of ways in which you could bring in these 3D models to be used inside ADS and then simulated with RF Pro. Now to begin, uh, we do have EM Pro, which I have explained in one of the earlier videos. And using EM Pro's native capability, you can bring your, you can build your own custom 3D model or you can also use the import option and you can import either the HFSS A3D COM file. Please note the encrypted A3D COM file will not be supported, but as long as you have a native HFSS A3D COM file, you can go to this option, select the A3D COM file and the associated SAT file, which you might export from HFSS and then EM Pro can import that. Now here I already have a HFSS imported geometry, which um, it brings in all the material information uh, along with the rest of the geometry parameters from EM Pro. Now once you have these files, so you can go ahead and save your project as um, a specific name, uh, which is EM Pro Open Access Project, under a certain directory. Now once you have it, you can turn your attention over to ADS and we can create a new workspace here. Now, if in order to add the EM Pro models into ADS, you can go to Design Kit, Manage Libraries, click on Add Library, and then browse to the location wherever you have the EM Pro file. In my case, it's under my Documents folder, Key Site EM Pro, and now I have this parent folder, Parametric 3D Component. I can go ahead and add it into my ADS and immediately you will see all the EM Pro projects appearing as a cell inside this workspace. If you go to library view, you can see parametric 3D components as a library containing two designs currently. Each of those designs have a EM Pro view, which you can double click and open the geometry in EM Pro in case you want to do any editing on those 3D models. It also has a layout view, which is basically nothing but a simple footprint kind of information, which we can then use to place this component over to ADS. Now in order to place a design, let's go ahead and create a layout. And in this case, I will simply use a millimeter precision. Now to place any components over to ADS layout from a 3D library, you could simply take a layout and drag and drop it over to ADS layout. And now you have the same footprint or layout view activated. And then you can make connections as per your stack up in the ADS layout. Now to explain this, I have already created a simple example to illustrate this concept. So let me go ahead and open the first design where I have a very simple micro strip transmission line with the SMD footprint. And now I have my 3D component placed on top of corn layer. Now this corn layer, as per my stack up definition, is the top layer on top of which I would like to place my 3D component. Now once you have this component placed in the ADS layout, if you invoke RF Pro, RF Pro will read all the geometry um, you know, specification and the geometry attributes for your 3D component as well as the PCB or the package stack up which you are working with. So here you can see the 3D component is nicely placed on top of the footprint and rest of the process remains very similar whereby you can go ahead and select your frequency sweep, uh, define FEM as your simulator and you can go ahead and run the simulation. And after simulation, you can look at the S parameter, which you have obtained for this geometry. And as this is an inductor, you can even look at inductance and look at the inductance results over the frequency. So very, very straightforward way. Whatever you need, you can place this 3D component in ADS layout, which is basically one part of your larger circuit design or package design, which you might be doing. Now, the another way um, 
is more RF Pro centric. So in this case, you can see I have a blank layout with footprint information, but no 3D component. Now at this point, I can go ahead and open RF Pro setup with this blank kind of layout where there is no custom 3D model. This could be your complete package design or an IC design. Now, once you have this object into RF Pro, I can go to File, Insert, EM Pro 3D Component. Now, going to the library, I can pick and choose the component which I would like to place in my RF Pro. And once I click on Insert, based on the origin coordinate of the 3D component, it will appear in your design. Now, if you want to align it or move this object, it's kind of very, very simple to do. Here you can see the 3D component, which we have just now inserted. Right click, specify orientation, and now you can go to advanced mode and enter the fix XYZ location, or you can define the translation that is to move object from the current location to any specified location, or you can simply go to basic mode, select the move button, click on any point on your 3D model, like in this particular case, I'm going to pick the center of the lower edge, and I'm now going to click on the conductor here, and now you can see your component is nicely placed on top of that footprint. And you can make minor adjustments and move. Now, once you have the component ready, you can proceed to simulate this kind of design in RF Pro very easily. So what I have shown you in this video, two ways you can get your 3D models into RF Pro for 3D simulation purposes. Step number one or method number one is to either place it into layout and then open up RF Pro or you can directly insert the model in RF Pro. Now what method works for what condition? We are going to discuss this in the upcoming video which will be uploaded pretty soon. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and wish you all the best with your design work.